Did you know today was Sleep Awareness Day? I had no idea. Did you? Hi everyone, welcome to another weekend reading vlog. This weekend, I just wanted to be chill. I have two books, no not two books, um, I finished a book last night and I feel like I should have had more books done by now but I didn't. The book I'm going to be reading, I'm going to be continuing on with A Dragonfly in Amber by Diana Gabaldon and then I also want to continue watching season four of Outlander. Like I said, I want it to be a chill weekend, I don't want to do too much and that's my plans for this weekend as a whole. I am back, hello, and it has been a busy afternoon. Like wow, I can't wait tonight just to relax and I can't wait for this weekend either just to relax, do nothing and get reading done because like I don't want to say that a lot of the books I have are big. There's only like about, well there's definitely one humongous one which I'm going to be reading this weekend but I just, I was panicking a little bit thinking that I pushed myself a little bit too much by having two books that are like around four or five hundred pages long but I know I can get it done because I have around three books that are shorter. So those shouldn't take me long to do. And yeah, um, tomorrow I'm going to see Chaos Walking. And I'm excited to see it because it looks good. I have not read the books yet. I have read two Patrick Ness books. Uh, what was the first one? The first one is More Than This. And the second one is... What's the second Oh, what's the second one? Just give me a moment. Let me look it up. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah. The Rest of Us Just Live Here is the second one. I did not like that one as much. I like the concept of it. It's about um, the... Oh, my God. What is it about? My brain is pulling up a blank. But just know I read it and I didn't really like it. I like the concept of it. It's just I, I feel that the execution fell a little bit flat for me. Yeah. I'm very curious to see um, Chaos Walking. Hopefully it will be a good movie. So I'm going to get back to doing some um, planning for videos I want to do next week. And then I will be back tonight to update you. Hello, it is night time. And before... Oh, hello. Got a bit of a close-up there. Um, before I start reading, I want to do a little bit of my jigsaw puzzle. I've been doing it for a while now. Again, with the close-ups, my gosh. Oh, don't. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, I need both hands for that. So I'll show you what it looks like after when I get everything set up. And I'll just do a little bit of that for a little while. And then I'll read. Here is the puzzle. It's a panoramic. And this um, board here holds around 1,500 pieces. Um, the jigsaw pair, um, I'm getting tongue tied here. The jigsaw puzzle pieces I have are around 1,000 pieces. Here's some more over here that I have. I have to sort through a whole bunch. And especially when a lot of them are like these kind of colors, like it gets a little confusing. <laughs> And then I have some more over here to sort through again and little sausage chops is over here. Hello Maggie. Hello my darling. Give me cuddle. Yeah darling. She's comfy there. <laughs> so yeah like I said this holds 1,500 pieces but because it's a panoramic the dimensions are different. It's still a thousand pieces but by my measurements and how it'll be, it looks I'm, go I'm going to have to chop off some puzzle pieces here so it really won't, like, flow. So, like, because it might end up coming over here. Over here. Let's see how big it is. Because it's a panorama, this is not what the piece looks like. But instead of it being just a normal puzzle piece like this, I have the panoramic, like I keep saying, and of course that means different dimensions, so it may not even fit like across the whole thing, if you get what I'm trying to say. Change of planes, I'm not going to be reading tonight, 
Tomorrow I'm going to skip Outlander and just read the book, Dragonfly and Amber, from like the afternoon into the night. The pr My problem is whenever I do things, I put too much time and effort into it and, and I need that balance between like reading and watching something or doing puzzles and reading. I, I need to find that balance. I really do. But anyway, some pieces have come along together. It's doing really, really well. I'm quite impressed. And yeah, I'm just going to keep on going until I, like, fall asleep. <laughs> I'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Good morning. As promised, I am going to show you what the jigsaw puzzle looks like. This is what it looks like. Let me put it down so I can point out some things. Like, I didn't realize how many browns there were and everything. This is New York. It's panoramic, so it's going to be a lot longer than what it's going to fit onto the, um, the board that I have to put the pieces on. And just look at it. And then I have to do all the buildings, then I have to do the clouds. Ugh. Rough times ahead. So, I just got back from watching Chaos Walking this afternoon and I really liked it. I really did. I thought it was a good movie. And I don't really have too many other thoughts about it. One, I have not read the books. I would like to read the books. And just, it was just overall a good movie. Sometimes you want to watch a movie that you don't have to think too much about. You just want to... Watch something for the sake of watching something instead of using any brain power. So yeah, it was good. I liked it. And it's making me want to read the books now. Just thought I'd do another quick check-in. It is um, a very adventurous night. I nearly tripped then. Um, so tonight I want to do a little bit more of my puzzle and then I want to read. I want to try and work out... You know, the balance between doing puzzles and watching movies and stuff like that and just reading as well. I want to work out a balance, if you know what I'm trying to say. And, yeah, that's my place for tonight. Look, I promise I will get to the reading. I've just been really stuck in the puzzle. I'm actually going to wrap up the puzzle now and you know get reading done because this is a reading vlog i want to show you how much i've done on the puzzle first let me stand up a bit oh okay look how much i've done look it's coming together look if you're wondering why there's a spatula or an egg flipper there it's because i had to move some pieces around and it gets stuck like some of the pieces get stuck on this um material felt board and um I needed to move pieces around and I ended up using a spatula <laughs> so that's why that's there for that is there so that I can see like this corner here because it gets a little bit dark what was that off yep that's off so yeah that's all that I'm doing very well I've done so much in these past couple of days and I'm very happy with myself. So, even though this isn't really turning out to be that much of a reading vlog, um, I have done a little bit of reading. Uh, before lunch, I ended up reading one chapter of Dragonfly and Amber. And it just, solidif it just solidifies what I had said previously in another reading vlog if memory serves me correctly. And it's what I said that um, about there being like magic and like witchiness about it. The chapter I read definitely makes it more pronounced. And like, I'm really loving it. I really am. Whenever I read the book, I open up the damn change. I don't know what a change is, but I know what a page is. Whenever I open up a page, I am completely absorbed in it and is completely sucked into the world and the characters. And this is what I'm trying to say about learning how to balance things out instead of like just like. But it, but it's good to have a break in between from reading. You know what I mean? Like I know I can get them all done. I know 
I have smaller books and I know I can easily get them done. But yeah, like I'm not even fit. It's not even being slumpy at all. And increasing the page, like the lettering print size has definitely helped because I'm reading it through ebook. And I'm getting it through quicker that way. It's just my head being on other things. And just me being excited at the fact that I'm making really, really damn good progress with the puzzle that I'm doing. And tomorrow, I have to force myself to read. And you're probably thinking, will not forcing yourself, like, put you in a slump? Uh, no, not if you're enjoying the book. Forcing yourself means that reading will be in the forefront of your mind instead of other things like watching movies, watching YouTube, playing on a video game, doing a puzzle, you know, and yeah, I'll force myself to read tomorrow morning. And then I rented a movie for tomorrow afternoon and then tomorrow night I have to get into reading again because I want to get as much reading done as I can of A Dragonfly in Amber by Tuesday before I start another book. Otherwise I'll just be behind and I don't want to be behind. And that's all I have to say right about now. I will see you tomorrow morning. Hello. I don't think I popped in this morning but it is Sunday. Sunday night and I'm going to end this reading vlog here. I have a busy day tomorrow and I don't know if I'll be able to wrap it up then tomorrow so I'll just do it now. I just finished reading more of Dragonfly and Amber and it is so good. It really is. Um, I will give you a bit of a warning there is rape in the book like even the first one and um, like rape is like rape is horrible right but it the the first in the first book it was so graphic even in the first season it was very graphic the rape scene um it was descriptive enough in the in the second one in dragonfly and amber but claire didn't really take any shit and she did what she could to, you know, stop herself from getting raped and all that kind of stuff. Unfortunately, one woman did, unfortunately. But she ended up helping her recover and, like, to try to give her herbs to help her pain and stuff like that. And just the... Th like, it's getting... um So, like, that's a trigger warning. I'll just let you know about that. It is getting quite interesting, like there's a little bit of a minor turn of events with things that are happening. Just the way that, I don't want to say too much because even though things are happening, not a lot of things are happening, it's like a slow progression in a way and I'm really enjoying it so far. Even though it's a slow progression, there are still things happening, like things behind the scenes, like relationship conflicts and stuff between Jamie and Claire so things are still happening but the plot does move slowly so if you want to read the book just know that going in like it doesn't bother me that much that the plot is slow moving because I'm just enjoying it anyway and that's all I really have to say because like I said not much really happened even like, even though things happened, not much really happened. And I got quite a bit of reading done. I wanted to get a little bit more, but the movie I watched today was really bloody long. It was like a nearly three-hour movie. And it was Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. It, would, it is the second time that I've watched it, and I still really enjoyed it. It is my only... My first and only Quentin Tarantino movie, which is a bit, like, shocking. Like, I'm such a big movie, like, a big movie fan that I'm quite surprised with myself that I haven't seen more Quentin Tarantino films. But it was my day today. I ate a beautiful lunch. I'm here tonight to read. Have a big day tomorrow. So I'm wrapping this up and I'm saying 
goodbye and I will see you in the next video. Bye.